Vehicle's performing beautifully out here. We've got some beautiful scenery, nice moody weather, loving it. My name is Adrian Abrahams, and on today's episode of Rome Overlanding, I join up with a group of overlanders to wild camp on the west coast and have some fun testing out the Hilux and thick sand. After going through a rough week with being robbed and losing my computer and having to change my plans for the trip, this was exactly what was needed to get my spirits back. To sit with some good mates, have a drink and watch the sun set over the ocean. It's been epic to meet up with the guys and see the rigs they've been working so hard on. They've been making YouTube videos, blogging or building overland vehicles for years now. And it was just so awesome to sit around with like-minded people and share a meal and some great conversation around the campsite. It felt like that as the sun set below the horizon, my worries faded away and I was starting to get really excited for what the next day had in store for us. It was sure to be action-packed. Okay, so camp's packed up, everyone's ready to rock and roll, we're going to go and see what there is to explore down the coastline, tires are deflated, and let's get going. So I haven't had the opportunity to actually get the Hilux out on the sand in the dunes yet, so this is going to be quite a bit of fun. Having such a badass convoy was too epic. I had three cruisers ahead of me, so keeping up and representing the double cab guys out there was some pressure for sure, especially with this being the first time out on the dunes with the Hilux. I'm still learning about driving an auto as well as having a heavy vehicle, so needless to say I was excited to start hitting some of the dunes and see how the Luxie holds up. Let's go for it. Hitting the first climb, all I could think was don't get stuck. So I ended up using a little bit more power than necessary and was balancing around like a wild animal over the cross axle sections. Just as well I had the diff lock engaged to help me carry momentum over the bumps. The cruisers would head out first and check how hectic the trails were, then the rest of us would follow. It's always great getting to watch those beasts work their magic. Ah, very, very cool. <laughs> All managed to make it up. Not too much drama. We are just waiting for the donkey to come through. Roland's troopy. But yeah, everyone else is up. Vehicle's performing beautifully out here. We've got some beautiful scenery, nice moody weather. Loving it. Now the fun was really starting to begin as we made our way further into the dunes. The sand was starting to get thick and soft and it was time to start thinking about getting the max tracks for sure. The scenery, however, was incredible. And I haven't done this type of driving in a couple of years, so it was really good to be out here. Now an interesting little section came up ahead of us, and it was time to hear Henry Yonker's 80 series roar up this dune. It is super soft and momentum is key, so having the right angle to push the power through was essential for getting up.
Now, if Henry barely got up, what was my poor 2.4 diesel going to do in a moment like this? And a split second of hesitation at the key point had me lose too much momentum and there I stopped. Luckily, I didn't dig myself in too deep and managed to just reverse back and give it another go. Not all of us were as lucky, and Simon from Raw um, Boss Overland found tracks. himself okay. buried in the sand. Luckily, the trusty Max Tracks could come out and help out. In no time, we had him popped out of the sand and then used the Max Tracks to cover the path ahead so he could get some momentum. Amazing how little he actually needed just to get out. But after all the other vehicles churning up the sand, it was bound to cause a bit of trouble. Low second, let's go. This next climb would test all of our vehicles. This was really impressive. Hendry from Zombie Off-Road managed to just ever so slowly pull his 80 series through this thick soft sand. Whew, that has been a lot of fun. And very interesting to see how all the different vehicles go up. I was very surpri surprised by Roland's donkey troopy. It just walked up, but he does have twin lockers, so <laughs> that helps. Unfortunately, Juba's Defender couldn't manage to get up, didn't have a rear diff lock, and it was just killing all the power over the axle twister section. Otherwise, everyone's ready to go. I think we are gonna can the dunes for now and get back on the road to our next campsite. We said goodbye to the dunes and made our way to a little pot stall for a bit of a braai to rest up after a wild morning in the west coast. That's a pretty lineup, that is. Time to refuel in the most South African way possible. Our campsite for the night would be on a private farm called Onderwater Boerskraal that Roland from My Life in Africa had arranged for us to just chill out in the middle of the farm. It was great, but I definitely let my guard down a little bit after some tar driving and was about to pay for it big time. I was trying to get a cool photo. But, ah, I don't think it worked. But it's okay. Everyone's gotten stuck today. Kick it until it works and then... <laughs> Ik vind het een einde. 
I've got a winch, I'll hook up to that 80 series quick. Get stuck, they said. It will be fun, they said. It's all fun and games until max tracks don't work. That's my first winch. <laughs> That's my first ever winch. That was, it like it all. That was uh, yeah, let's see, what's the... That looks like a stuck Hilux, eh? <sighs> Thanks, Henry. That was cool, eh? Hey, cruise of power. That was a bunch of fun. Time to get back to camp and enjoy a sunset by the fire out in the bush. I've never done this in the Western Cape before, so this is going to be fun. So, I realized, I uh, forgot to <laughs> deflate my tires. So that caused a whole bunch of unnecessary stress. So I almost got stuck again after just getting winched out. And then I was like, oh, hold on a minute. Um, my tires were inflated at a garage. So they were sitting at like two bar or whatever. Dropped them down to 1.2 bar. Drove out nice and easy. Just shows you, gotta be aware of that stuff. But you know what, it's still fun. Getting stuck with mates, getting out, it's a good time. And that brings an end to our awesome little adventure. Had a good night around the campfire, woke up, had a nice little shower, packing up, getting ready to go, and this is where we're gonna go on our separate ways. I still don't know what lies ahead of me on my journey. I don't even know where I'm gonna be tomorrow, but let's see how it goes. Anyways, thanks so much for tuning into this adventure-packed video, and uh, I'll see you again next week. Cheers. Thank you for tuning in. I just want to give a massive shout out to my awesome Patreon members for their continued support. If you would like to join in on weekly live streams, behind the scenes content and early access to videos, head over to the link below and become a member. Next week, I take an unusual route back to Johannesburg. Now, my vehicle is a collaboration between all of my incredible product partners. And if you want to find out more about any of the equipment, you can head down to the description to find out more. Anyways, we'll see you next week. Cheers. <laughs>